Good news, everybody. Uh, there's a new camera that has a time code connection that is another proprietary thing. It's this thing for the FX3, Sony FX3, and the FX30. It's like a little micro display port, uh, which is like on the bottom uh, left side of the camera. And uh, Deity, our friends over at Deity Microphones, have come up with a pretty cool solution. It's called the uh, C23. And what it is, is it takes that connector and turns it into this locking eighth inch TRS. And this box, it's not a time code box. I have to assume there's some circuitry going on in here that, you know, takes it from this to this. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I don't use um, eighth inch anything in my time code world. I'm still on good old fashioned BNCs and uh, my, I use these camera hops made by Zaxcom and they have this TA5 and I've, they're all already wired to BNC. So ain't got time for that, unfortunately. But these are very popular with um, the Deity time code boxes as well as tentacle sync boxes. So you would need to uh, modify this, but I'm gonna. And I was talking to um, Andrew over at Deity on the internet last night and he told me but it's actually even easier than I thought. I was gonna, I was gonna lop this end off and just terminate on a B and C. But he said it's a lot easier just to open this box up. I wonder how you get in there. Let's see. I don't see any screw holes. I bet it's under these Velcro pads. So I'll have to rip these Velcro pads off and then open this box up, and uh, we're gonna desolder this wire and put on another one that has a BNC on it. And I think, because all my cables are already uh, male, I think I'm gonna try to put a female end on it. Let's try this side, the soft side Velcro. Oh, there they are, I see them. They look like, they look like Torx. Here's a T5. Ooh. No, it seems to be stripping. T5 on a different screw? Let's see, maybe that was just a weird screw, but. Or maybe this tool's getting... Oh, it is. Yeah, this is a T5. All right, that's the size you need. You got three or four. Something tells me this one's going to put up a fight. Let's see. Come on, baby. There it goes. All right, well, that didn't work out how I hoped. Oh, there's three more. One, two, three torque screws inside there. Now these are what are holding the PCB to the, I don't know, this box. All right, here it comes. So there's all the chips and things. I'll push these wires through to give me some slack so I can see what's going on under here. A pen that says ground and TC in. And uh, that's what we want. Gonna have to pick off some of this goo. All right, I'm gonna desolder these two wires. Just grab this first one on the outside first. Pull it down. That's off, I think. Try to get underneath, get this black one. Actually, it's the only one left, so I'll just grab it down here. There we go. We just wanna set this thing free so we can feed it back out. Here we go. I guess we can save that for something. Maybe we'll use that someday. Let's use this as a ballpark. That long, cut it off here. All right, strip that back. This will be the end that I put inside the circuit board because uh, I want to spend a little more time on the BNC side of things. All right, cut off this white one because I'm just gonna say that that's not necessary. If you're new to soldering, let me tell you a little tip. It's called flux. Dip, dip your ends, just just kiss them in there. Just not not a, not a bunch, but just kind of just put a little something on there. Really helps that solder flow. We're just gonna tin these tips. There we go. So this side's gonna go on the circuit board. All right, we'll get this other one here. I like to use tweezers to kind of hold it on the spot. 
some, some more of that, that, that crud, <laughs> that crud off. I know I have small ones somewhere, but they could be anywhere. Right. We'll make it work. Let's see how this feels in this space here. If it's too, too loose. This is gonna get turned away. Come on. It's funny, it's not even my the big zip tie I put on, it's the other one that was already there. Come on, move over. Get the fuck out of the way or I'll fucking kill you. What? Nothing. Alright, one more of these on the board. Please don't fall in. There we go. So the board is back down, right? And we'll put the, I was going to say the last one in, but it's not the last one. Now there's this little memory. So now we want to get this BNC on. There's a little hole in the side here to get your solder in there. All right, so we strip back this end. This is the end that's going to go in the BNC. I trimmed off the white wire on the side because it's superfluous. That needs to reach in there. It looks like to be a little too long, so I'm going to cut that back. Just the... Just a tiny bit. We'll pull this back. Not too much. That. And I think I'm going to suck. Like, I'm going to tin this tip before it goes in there just to help it stay rigid and kind of find its way through. And slide on over. Oh, that's a pretty good angle. It's like a TV show angle right there. All right. Too long. And push it until I see red. Until I see red inside there on the edge and turn it so you can see it yeah that way i know it's not getting it's not too far beyond here we go yikes that's ugly <laughs> let's break that joint right there here we got a solder blob that kind of fell off oh i chipped most of it away right there there's one little strand of solder floating in there i think it's just loose though yeah a little stray solder hair that's floating in there. We'll do a little continuity test on this too before we button it up. All right, I just want to see that the center pin of the BNC is not touching the outer shell. It's not. All right, good sign. We're almost there. So now, um, yeah, I think we're safe enough to put this little swatch of Velcro back where it lives. We will cut these copper strands. They should not really go past this uh, textured part of the connector here. So, yeah, like that. I just want to make sure there's no way in hell that any of these are going to get near that inside one. One stray. Come on. This goes over. Let's do the next one down, which is one... 128. Here we go. Good squeeze. Yeah, that felt good. All right, so that crunched it on there. That's never coming off. We can put our heat shrink to about there. All right. That does it, and just, so there we have it. This plugs into the camera. This gets, I don't know, stuck to the camera somewhere. It's like a little platform. And then this would go to my time code cable. Um, in a perfect world, like I said, I wish I could have mounted this on here, which you could almost do. It's almost fat enough. Deity, make another one of these with just a female nub sticking out of the side of it. That would be pretty sick then I wouldn't have to make this. Um, but there it is. If you want me to make you one of these, hit me up. And one thing I always do at the end of every thing I've ever built is the old continuity test. I don't have an FX3 camera in my house to test this on, so I'll have to wait for the next time I see one. But Which should be pretty soon, actually. But um, in the meantime, we'd, we'd like to do a continuity test just to check for shorts 
because if this was touching this on the inside somewhere in here we'd be hearing a beep like this but i think this one's good to go so we'll try it out next week